and what's good call to next day i'm going to be doing a little chit chat video to talk about some things that needs to be said because a lot of times people are not really understanding what a content creator is and what it means okay subscribe my youtube channel turn on post notifications and let's get this video started okay so the first thing is a content creator is a person who posts videos on the internet like youtube instagram facebook tiktok that's what a content creator is see people get it twisted when they say you on a public app okay we, we get that we're on a public app but there's something that we shouldn't have to answer like okay see for me i get lots of questions i get three questions constantly every single day do i work do i live alone who i live with and i i feel like that's i feel like that's kind of personal to me i feel like that's not being safe so if, see if you're a content creator and you out here telling your business on TikTok, or on YouTube, or Facebook, or Instagram, then they'll be like, oh, I got the info. Boom, bam, bam, bam. So, see, that's not me. I'm not the type to get on TikTok and tell my business. So people don't understand that part. They get mad when I say, why y'all asking me that? They get mad, and they want, to, they want to get defensive, and they want to play the victim and say that I'm on a public app. I know I'm on a public app. But at the same time, I have to protect my family and myself. So by doing that, I don't answer certain questions. And people get mad with me when I when I, when I don't answer the question. I feel like y'all you all all have been my Kool-Aid. All you want to do is be nosy be nosy. See, how can you how can how can you think that it's okay to ask a total stranger on the internet who they live with? Do you live alone? Do you work? I feel like I feel like how can you feel comfortable asking asking a total stranger that? If I feel like sweaty and stuff, I just got done working out. I'm sorry, but how can you? So how can you feel comfortable on TikTok asking a person a total stranger that? I can see if you're asking your friends or your cousin or your family member that, but not, I, I don't feel like a total stranger. You asking a total stranger that? And see y'all, I, y'all, I just want to, I just want to, I just wanted to make this video and say, I don't, I'm not trying to be rude to y'all, but I know that I'm a content creator, but sometimes when you being a content creator and an influencer, some questions you don't have to ask. I mean, sometimes some questions you don't have to answer, and that's that's okay. If you feel like you don't want to answer a certain question, you don't have to answer it. Don't let nobody force you to answer a certain question that you don't want to answer. Because I'm protecting what? Myself and who? My family. That's right. So, by all means, I don't mean no harm, and I hope, I hope you all understand this. You cannot be asking a content creator personal questions. Like, how would you feel if somebody asked you a personal question? I told a stranger to come to you and say, hey, where you live at? Who you live with? Where you work at? How would you feel if somebody did it to you? See, see, I hope y'all really understand. I don't mean no harm, but something you just don't ask a content creator. A content creator who makes videos for their supporters. Yes, I call y'all my supporters. Who makes videos for their supporters. When a content creator goes live, they don't want to feel pressured they don't want to feel like they have to answer a certain question because I never feel pressured, okay? So I know what questions to act, to answer and what questions not to answer. But I'm making this video to say this. Be cautious of the question you ask a content creator. I know that's your favorite content creator, but some questions should be off limits. You should even be thinking about who they live with or do they live alone or do they work. You, you, that shouldn't even be on your mind. Only thing that should be on your mind is supporting them, liking their videos, sharing their videos, and getting their views up. That's all should be on your mind. Not who they live with. Or, or, or do they live alone? Or do, or where they work at? Do they work? Like, those questions should be off limits. And I hope you have an awesome pause today today. And you know what? It's all good. No hard feelings, y'all. No hard feelings. I'm just going to make this video 
to express my feelings because I don't feel safe answering those questions. I just wanted to make a video to express my feelings about it. I don't like I don't I don't like it and I don't like it and I hope in this video gets to a lot of people. I don't like it when y'all asking those questions because when y'all doing that, y'all put my you put me and my family in jeopardy when you're asking questions like this. Okay, so I know what y'all be doing. See, when you ask your favorite content creator the way they work at, then you Google it, then you call their job and tell their job, do you know so-and-so making TikTok videos? Have you seen so-and-so page? Or do you know what so-and-so posting on their page? See, 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 you Google their job, then you call their boss, then you get them in trouble. See, that's not cool. That's not fair. How can you, how can you say you love you love that content creator, but you call them their job to get them in trouble. No. Content, content creator, listen to me. If someone asks you where you work at, do not tell them. On no on, under no circumstances, do not tell them where you work at. That's a setup. They're trying to set you up to lose your job to get you in trouble with your employee. That's not right. That's not fair. So do not answer that question. Oh, you have an awesome pause today today. Be a blessing and what's not a hater. Comment down below what should my next video be. And I do hope you love y'all. Bye. <laughs> we are too blessed to be what stressed.